good morning you are from delhi can you please tell us about yourself good morning sir my name is gonik singh i am a cost and management accountant by profession i completed my cma last year in the month of march i have also done my graduation from delhi university school of open learning and commerce with first division uh, as for my hobbies i like to play guitar and i do cardio workouts my strengths i consider myself as an adaptive person with a liquid personality and i am also a very quick learner good you have passed cma in which year the last year in the month of march in the month of march only acha 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 that's very good are you working somewhere now no sir i have been preparing for government exams very good excellent now can you tell me something about your cost management institute cost and management institute yeah so what is located... the, what is what is the institute that is conducting your examination so it's the institute of cost and management accountants of india acha where it's, is the headquarters uh, it is uh, located in lodi road delhi acha delhi only acha acha so very yes, good so. excellent no was there not any campus recruitment in your place so there was but i was not shortlisted anywhere unfortunately that's a matter don't worry now please tell me the format of balance sheet of a company normal uh, manufacturing company so the balance sheet of a company is given in schedule 3 of companies act 2013 and uh, it is a vertical shape balance sheet first it, it is uh, divided into two parts the first is equity and liabilities and second is the assets mm -hmm. good can you describe the different uh, components of uh, liability different components of assets okay sir so the liabilities are divided into two parts uh, non current and current non current includes those liabilities which are to be repaid after a period of m more than 12 months and the current liabilities are the liabilities which are to be repaid within a period of 12 months same goes with assets assets are also classified into two parts uh, non current and current current includes fixed assets which are further divided into intangible and tangible assets uh, fixed assets after that uh, there are current assets which are to be uh, which can be converted into 12 months which are liquid assets did you mention about fixed assets like um, land yes, building very good what are contingency liabilities where it will appear in the balance sheet of a company the contingent liabilities are the liabilities uh, the occurrence are the, uh, they are ab hindi mein bolna to hindi mein bhi boliye koi taklif nahi because no, you are from in english acha theek hai you are from delhi yes sir yeah. tell me so they uh, are hmm. liabilities on the occurrence of which depends on a future uncertain event contingent so, liabilities are those like insurance so, claims uh, so where in which part of balance sheet it will appear they are not shown in the balance sheet they are shown in the notes to accounts because ah, the, so, they are so is answer ke liye is question ke liye answer you start with the answer namely contingent liabilities are shown as notes in the balance sheet because they are likely to occur only or may not occur only when okay, it sir. occurs it is shown in liability aisa bolne se easily mm -hmm. understandable ho jaye understand okay sir okay sir can you tell me the purpose of making ratio analysis in balance sheet what can a bank is benefited from that the ratio analysis plays a very crucial role in analysis of balance sheet uh, it provides a very deep insight about the financial position of a company uh, we can to know about the liquidity position of the company uh, short term liquidity are known with the help of current uh, current ratios with the help of a uh, short liquidity ratios like current ratio uh, liquid ratio we get to know about the capital structure about of the of the entity with the help of debt equity ratio we get to know about the fixed obligations which the company has with the help of capital gearing ratios we get to know about the collateral that the uh, entity can provide for the loans with fixed assets yes. Mm. in the case of term loan banks use which ratios mainly in case of term loans 
Yeah. You know what is a term loan? Yes, I know what term loan is. So in the case of term loan, banks depend on which ratio very much? The current ratio, because they no. want to know about the liquidity. No, besides that, DSCR, debt oh, service. Okay, 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 okay. Debt service Can company. you tell me what is DSCR? Yes, so DSCR tells us about whether the company can meet its fixed obligations or not, whether it's positioned to maintain uh, the fixed obligations or not. It is calculated by the help of earning before interest, but after tax divided by interest and installment. Super. First, file the formula I will be very mm -hmm. happy. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Good. Very good. So, you were telling about... Um, DSCR. Yes, but sir. Now, uh, we have seen what is ratio analysis, why ratio analysis is done, and all that. What are the shortcomings of ratio analysis? What are the defects of this? Not that yes. this is a foolproof system. Which points we may not be able to understand or get from the ratio analysis? The first, I believe, is historical data. Historical mm -hmm. data is sense that it does not show about the future position of the company. It shows historical data which has already been occurred. After that, window dressing is a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Entity may by, might be engaged in window dressing of the financials, which mm -hmm. might not show the true position of the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then. Uh, it's uh, only two shortcomings right now. I am trying to find out whether I can get something more. Uh, what are the shortcomings of ratio analysis? Ratio analysis information is historic. It is not correct. Uh, that is, ratio analysis does not take into external factors such as worldwide recession. Ratio analysis does not measure the human element of a firm. Ratio analysis can only be used for comparison with other firms of the same size and type. Dusra size com company say, am log share nahi kar sakte, kar sakte hain. Sir, so it also is, ignores the qualitative it, measures like the management, like the environmental factors also. Yeah, the, and the 12th standard also, it is given that there are no standard definition of the ratios. Okay, sir. And as you rightly said, the firm can make some year-end changes to their financial statements to improve their ratios. Mm -hmm. And also ratios ignore the price level changes due to inflation. Accounting ratios completely ignore the qualitative aspects of the firm. Yes. I'm, just, I'm just giving this in our um, PNB group. Okay, sir. So that others can also see this. Good. Very good. Now, let me go to the next question. Um, what is your name? You said, sorry. So, Gonik Singh. Achha. Pidaji, kya kaam karte hai? Sorry, sir. Your father, what is he doing? So, my father is a government employee. He is working as an assistant section officer in CSIR and BL. What is CSIR? The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. It's it it comes under Ministry of Science and Technology. When was that formed? C S I R. When was it formed? Any idea you have about that? Because today in a parliament speech, one of the ministers was giving mention about that. And of course, I'm sure you will not remember about that. Sir, I don't know about CSIR, but I know about the lab my father works in. It was inaugurated in the same year India got independence in the year 1947. Yeah, yeah. It was exactly. inaugurated by the uh, late Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehruji. Mm -hmm. Because I was told that many of these uh, CSIR, etc., uh, they are um, started even before independence. Yes, by... so the NPL, the lab my father works in, is the oldest lab in our country, the first lab in our country. Oh, okay. please go get to know when you go through the about us, you will know. Okay, okay? Sir. very good, excellent. Let me go for the next question. Um, can you please 
about which loans in banks you are very familiar. Have you gone through our Punjab National Bank website? So a little bit. I went through the data, not the loan section, but I went through the uh, the results, the quarter results. Why, why you went through a little bit? You wanted to go through afterwards? Sir, I'll go through that again. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I will ask other questions apart from that. Can you please tell me what do you understand by KCC in terms of banking? KCC? Mm. No, sir, I'm not aware of that. It's a very important thing. So that is why you must go through the website. Then only you will know. This comes under Kisan Credit Card. Agriculture. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. Have, have, you read, have, you read about, have you read about this? Yes, sir, I read, but I'm not able to recall right now. Okay, no problem. Can you speak about mudra loans? Yes, sir. Mudra loans, sir. Mudra loans were provided uh, to uh, I think you are good in uh, general accountancy and all, but it, when it comes to banking related schemes, Vagera, you have to reading Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then I will. The mudra ask... scheme is provided into three parts. Uh, I am able to recall it's uh, Shishu, Kishore, and Tarun. Mm. In recent budget, it was the Tarun scheme was increased from ten lakhs to twenty lakhs. Mm. For uh, whom it for whom it is intended? So for MSMEs. Okay, and um, some specific category of people are benefited by this. I think it is given in our WhatsApp group also. Yes, sir. One, given, given. one candidate has given some seven schemes and he has told about what this represents and all that. Did you go through that? I have to go I through. I did, I did. Yeah, tell I me. I just not able to recall right now. Yeah, what, are the, what are the schemes he has given in that? Sir, I'm not able to recall right now. Why, Baba? Is it because today morning Wagi I see forget Wagi? Yes, sir. Maybe. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. Quite bad. Let me ask general questions today so that I will ask very much banking related questions subsequently. Can you tell me what is green revolution? Who is considered responsible for green revolution? Yes, Swaminathan was considered as the uh, man behind the green revolution it was he was a scientist in iari mm. indian agriculture research institute mm. it Good. was who is our defense minister now the mr rajnath singh who is our home affairs minister mr amit shah very good can you tell us what is a guarantee sir a guarantee is an assurance provided by the bank in case Payment is not made by the uh, buyer. It is provided to the seller. Mm. It is an assurance that bank gives that if in case the buyer doesn't pay, bank will be paid. What is the what is the benefit for the bank issuing guarantees? So the commission mm. the bank receives is uh, is the incentive for the bank. And they also retain certain deposits. As yes, so they also retain certain deposits and the collateral is also an incentive. Excellent. Good, good, good. Excellent. You told nicely. Do you know what is meant by bills purchased in terms of bank? Bills purchased? Suna hai iska bare mein? No, sir. That is, in the case of use on bills, what is use on bills? There a bill which is paid uh, at at time your after no, no, no. Time. which is payable after 45 days 50 60 days after use on means number of days okay 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 such bills are discounted and money is given so that the um, the supplier will get the money quickly and the bank will get the money from the buyer after the lapse of the period 30 days 45 okay. days this okay. comes under what is this come down, comes under Negotiable Instruments Act? Bill finance, I think. Yeah, what are negotiable instruments? So negotiable instruments include bill of finance, uh, checks. They are, uh, they are governed by the non-negotiable uh, instrument act of uh, 19th. Mm -hmm. 
no, no, economy. it maintains the interest rates for the banks it is uh, it lends banks in case of emergency it is considered as a bankers bank it it maintains foreign reserves in in uh, in the form of foreign currency and gold reserves yeah currently i think, RBI I, think has, are, i think you have covered mostly all except bankers to government then bank other one you already told bankers to bank then while talking about note issue you wrongly said printing of notes no 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 printing okay, of sir. notes is not been done by rbi it is done by its subsidiary Issuing rbi of is rest ah oh, correct okay okay and foreign exchange plus um, say monetary Board policy reserve. monetary policy and also controlling of inflation good best wishes thank you so much thank you sir you did well but then 